Hey y'all, I'm looking mad crusty. <laughs> but you need an angled brush and a spoolie. And this eyebrow gel that I'm using is from Kiss and it's in the color Ebony. And I'm gonna start doing my brows. So when I start my brows, I always start at the bottom because it just gives me a good guideline and how I want my shape to be and all of that. So I'm starting in the middle and I'm drawing a line to the end of my brow and I'm going to do the same thing on top. And then I start to fill in my brow. I don't fill in all the way to the front because I feel like that's so not flattering and it gives you that sharp eyebrow effect and I just don't like it. So after I do that, I'm going back to the bottom of my brow and I'm bring, I'm drawing a line. And as you can see, I'm using short strokes and I'm lightly drawing a line to the very front of my brow. And then you take your spoolie and you start brushing the spoolie backwards towards the end of your brow because that's how you bring the, the product forward. And then you brush up and that gives you that faded look. And I start by saying this eyebrow gel is so freaking bomb. Like, this stuff is so underrated. I found this in my beauty supply store. It was $6.99. The brush that I'm using to fill in my brows comes with the eyebrow gel. And it glides on so creamy. But when it dries, it is stuck. You don't got to worry about it sliding off. None of that. It's on there. Yeah, like, it's stuck. I love this stuff so much. It comes in three colors. Chocolate, dark brown, ebony. The color I'm using is ebony. I love my brows dark like my men. <laughs> Sight. <laughs> So now I'm just using a flat concealer brush. I think this brush is from Sigma and I think it's an E15. Um, I'll have everything listed in the description box. And I'm gonna start cleaning up my brows with concealer. Um, I don't know why, but people don't like doing this anymore, but I'm gonna keep doing it because that's what I like to do. And my eyebrows be snatched this way. And if you don't like it, fight me. I line up my, I line underneath my brows and I drag it down so that I could blend it out later on. And as you can see, I give myself a unibrow when I do my concealer because it keeps my eyebrows even. People say eyebrows are sisters and not twins. Well, let me tell you something. My eyebrows are going to be twins. I'm a Gemini and even if they fraternal, it don't matter. They're going to be twins today. And then I do the same thing on top and connect it. And after that, I blend it out with my, I think it was a regular blending brush. I don't know where this brush is from. But um, I'm just using a regular blending brush and I blend out the concealer. If you want to keep a natural look, you don't have to use concealer or you can use a shade that's the same skin tone as you. And you would do the same thing I just did. And I blend it out around my brows and then I blend the very middle so I won't have that unibrow anymore. And I know my concealer is lighter right now, okay, because I'm doing a dramatic makeup look. So do not try to play me in them comments. I know how to match my shade, okay? Next. So lately, clear brow gel has been a staple in my eyebrow routine. Um, this one is my is my first time trying it. It's from e.l.f. And it was okay. It did the job. It was $2, so you get what you pay for. But usually, I have to use eyebrow gel because, as you can see, it makes your hairs stand up more. I feel like you, I feel like you can see the hairs more, and it keeps them in place if you have wild brows like mine because usually my tail um, of my brow like tends to get a little crazy but it holds up all day and I do the front and everything and this is the finished look please let me know what y'all think did this help you what is your eyebrow routine leave it down in the comments do you use the same products I can't wait to see y'all in the next video thanks for watching bye